from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. On August 13, South Africa's latest aircraft design, the Advanced High Performance Reconnaissance Light Aircraft, made its first public flight. Keith Campbell was there. The aircraft, known as the ARLAC for short, made its maiden flight before the media at Von der Boom Airport, north of Pretoria. The aircraft is a project of local private sector defence group Paramount, with local aerospace company Aerosud as the prime contractor. The managing director of Aerosud and of Arlac Holdings, Dr. Paul Pochita, gives us his thoughts about the project. I think two main elements. The first is that we could capitalize on many years of experience coming through the Roy Falk, the Mirage program, the A400 program. So that on the one hand, the older folk, with the experience, being able to guide and to mentor the young guys. But with the young guys really taking the lead. In other words, a young team of young engineers and technicians who have been given the opportunity to, to turn this thing into, into reality, to give uh, flight to their innovative traits. That was really the idea, you know, with that combination of experience and young innovativeness. It's probably, as Ivor said in the press release, around 300,000 hours of work done, so it's a huge amount of work, but at the same time, we do believe that we've done it far more cost effectively than could be the case in larger companies, because it's really, really a skunk works team, a very compact team, and they've done an incredibly good job in getting it into a nicer chum and slim ship. The departure point was that we have to be competing into a contested marketplace against aircraft that are already established in the marketplace. That meant that we had decided from the outset to apply the very, very latest technology that we could uh, lay our hands on, to get a market edge on the other guys, to really give us some edge factor. And most important of that was to use electronic digital design uh, and things like paperless uh, offload onto the factory floor or the uh, prototype, uh, the protoshop floor and things like jiggless manufacture, which is really the dream, has been the dream of the aviation world for the last 50, 60 years, to be able to manufacture that accurately, that they can go together like Meccano. And that we certainly have achieved. We cut down the manufacturing times on that prototype. And I believe we have a very, very pure, uh, mature product already at this early phase of the program. Aerosud is the, the Aerosud Innovation and Training Centre is the prime contractor for the de development of the program and that will continue into the future. And uh, as we said a few minutes ago, there's a long road ahead of us in terms of testing and evaluation. So yes, Aerosud will certainly remain involved from a manufacturing perspective. It is certain, certainly possible that the established skills within Aerosud will be contributing to the manufacture of the aircraft. But I also think that we will have to be gearing up to new technologies and new methodologies which we've already proven and used during the prototyping phase. Like things like lights out uh, five axis CNC facilities. This sort of thing is very, very much in the offing for, in order for us to be uh, efficient in terms of manufacture, to cut down cost and to be more competitive. Other news making headlines this week, rooftop gardens are set to enhance food security. Social housing provider, the Johannesburg Housing Company, launched another sustainability garden, the Lake Success Food Garden in Hillbrow in June. We are working with a, a number of property owners, you know, to try and uh, get them involved. Just imagine if uh, we have every building in Hillbrow having a food garden on top of the roof. I think that would look nice. And I think if we have scale, the different rooftop gardens can then work together you know, to try and generate income. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.